<clears throat> so summarize doctor what are mesodermal surfectodermal neurectodermal derivatives in the case of the eye this is one table you have to master and master to your deepest layers of memory because one question is going to come when examiner want to give a question in embryology mesoderm sclera choroid corneal stroma and endothelium iris stroma and endothelium and the blood vessels and the muscles except the iris muscles but only smooth muscles of the iris are derived from mesoderm then you have surfectoderm corneal epithelium conjunctival epithelium lens and lacrimals neurectoderm iris epithelium and ciliary body muscles of the iris that is constrictor pupillae and dilator pupillae and uh, uh, retinal epithelium pigment epithelium optic vesicle nerve and part of vitreous they are all the typical derivatives now there are few there are about some 10 questions commonly asked about the development of the eye in any entrance exam there is no more word called any entrance exam only one entrance exam only one god whether you are muslim christian hindu you have to follow the believe the same god now now doctor <coughs> The eye of the newborn typically is of a smaller size and all small sized eyes are hypermetropic. Larger sized eyes are all myopic. That is an important principle. The optic nerve myelination, yes, it is complete at birth and the orbit will be typically divergent at birth. It takes six weeks before fixation reflex to develop. And the first two to four months of life is very critical for the development of fixation reflex. That's the reason if congenitally, if any strabismus is there, you need to aggressively correct it before the fixation reflex evolves. During first six months, binocular vision typically develops. Binocular, where both your eyes will coordinate with each other, is very important for us to perceive the depth. So, at 6 to 8 months, the perception of the depth will be developing is what needs to be fundamentally remembered. Now, what are the important dimensions which you are not going to forget? Very painful thing to remember, but still you need to make an effort. Macular diameter is 5.5, fovea diameter is 1.5, so also optic disc. Foveola is 0 0.35, so this is how you need to ultimately remember. I leave to you in the literature the remaining things this is a very favorite question of examiner what is the AP length of eyeball 2.5 centimeters is our eyeball height of the eyeball is 23 vertical length is also 23 circumference is 70 anterior chamber is 2 to 3 mm depth eyeball is 6.5 ml out of that vitreous is 4 ml and the volume of the orbit itself is 30 ml is uh, that is one small peg of brandy is the eye 30 ml is what need to be remembered so at this juncture doctor we will take one quick break not really a break i want to give you 20 questions as a quiz we will run one powerpoint slideshow pick up a pen and paper and uh, answer the 20 questions then we will have uh, a quick check how well you have answered it correctly and wrongly then once more we will continue because continuously listening a lecture is uh, necrotic uh, risk to the brain is there that's the reason can you please run the powerpoint you need to pick up a pen and paper and be ready with the answers and when we discuss the answers <coughs> When we, when we review the questions, you need to punch answers as 1A, 2B like that. Question number and the answer. Give to the doctor uh, one uh, pen and paper. <clears throat> so that 
the future of coaching is going to be a wonderful evening like this where we pick up some 50 questions every day run it as a quiz debate about them and also review some common issues in the theory so that monday to friday we have interactive session starting from february next year and uh, uh, you are uh, um, uh, so that the student gets an opportunity not to passively be a mute spectator of a lecture, rather to reflect, react and contribute the way our Guntur students are uh, taking a chance to revise the subject. So each slide will stay for 20 seconds by the time you have to basically answer. So now is a slideshow is timed, okay, right. So you need to first answer the uh, answer the slides. Be ready with the answers so that at the time of review of the answers, you will be a little more brisk. Where is the panel? Complete. Uh, already it moved back okay okay now you get the complete screen full screen yes yes So there are totally 20 questions you need to quickly think of and then be ready with the answers and then we will have a short discussion. Now only do not punch your answers, you be ready with the answers then we will take up it for discussion. Every 20 seconds one question will be changing, it will take uh, the totally 20 questions in this quiz. 